<laughs> you do Nick James, you already have Nick James. Yeah, Keep on did Nick James. Yeah. 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 Like him running after the quarterback, like dude, that y'all have to listen when he <laughs> went after the quarterback. <laughs> <laughs> and then when he got his first sack, he like he didn't even know it. So he came back to the sideline and was like, "Hey Nick, you got that sack?" He said, "I got that sack." I said, "Yeah." <laughs> <laughs> what wrong, Nick? But first question, go. <laughs> okay, all previous video now deleted. <laughs> I guess up? yeah. I mean. Go up against the front seven, Dak said that they were very, very strong up front. Yeah. How, how do you go about trying to give Dak time and open up holes for the running back? Uh, just, put, uh, just put hands on them and move your feet. Uh, we know that they're big and that they're big and stout. Uh, so this week is going to be all about uh, coming out the ball and controlling the line of scrimmage. So. After watching the film, how do you think Justin did filling in for you in that second half? Uh, from what I saw, um, he, at first he, he had his uh, – Moments, but uh, after he got used to it, um, he he played well, especially in the fourth in the fourth quarter compared to the third to the third quarter. He got um, that was Missouri best best defensive line. I mean, I told him before he went out there just to move his feet. So I mean, he did the best that he could do it, and I think he did a pretty good job. How much does that go back to Coach Harris? He always talks about having you guys work at multiple positions in practice for situations like that. Yeah, because you never know during the course of the game what's going to happen. Um, unfortunately, Elton wasn't able to dress out, and then I went then I went down in the second quarter, and Malone had taken snaps at uh, Tapper um, last week, so he was prepared for it. So we always prepared to move around based off injuries. So. When you go down, how much are you kind of become a coach at that point and try to help him out of that situation? Um, I was going to go stay in the locker room, but I told him that I wanted to go back out there just to, you know, just to be a voice to him. Um, I know it killed, it killed me not to be out there, out there physically, but I was always in the air when I came to the, to the sideline after Hibson got done with him.